center. John here guys, and today we're talking about the Airblade Intrepid V2, the five inch version. Now we've covered the Intrepid V2 three inch version on the channel here, but this is the big dog. Power surge, yeah. <laughs> now if you want that same smooth H frame, um, goodness with the props out of view and a very smooth flight, look at the distance. Uh, like between the front and the rear arms. Uh, that's going to yield a very smooth flight. Uh, and you want to be able to carry an HD cam, a GoPro, by just sitting it on top and strapping it in because it has a built-in GoPro mount. Then this is the ticket. Airblade is coming out with all types of great stuff. Their shop is expanding, adding new products all the time. A lot of the top electronics, motors, and other things are coming out on their shop regularly. So definitely um, click on my links below if you want to buy anything there. And you can actually even use my channel code to get even greater discounts. Um, so check this thing out, guys. Um, you have a lot of versatility here. This hole in the back means that you can run a toilet tank style a battery strap or you can run two straps uh, right here if you're gonna run it on your traditional way um, the arms are two uh, in one so you have an arm at the back and an arm at the front they attach um, with two screws on either side just like this it's really just like an ex uh, a blown up version of the three inch it basically goes together the same and you have the same set of mounting holes you have mounting holes in the back and at the front and if you check out the sizing on those you have some 30 by 30 slots which allows you to move it a little bit forward or back and a 20 by 20 in the middle and that's repeated exactly in the rear so that you can lay your electronics um, side to side like that it's a it's a kind of a there's a, it's a thin deck so you're going to want to lay your electronics electronics side to side like that um, Great camera protection once again by Airblade. It goes together with three sets of standoffs and uh, this front cage portion fits on exactly like the three inch version. So very cool. They've been able to take all of the great flight elements of that three inch and just blow it up. All right, I confess I did it. Did what? Pick up I blew up the baby. For a five inch version. Now, one other thing that this frame comes with is this awesome crossfire antenna mount. Now, I believe this thing goes on a standoff like this, and it has a printed ball joint built in. So, your crossfire antenna slips right in this little scoop right here, and then you can adjust it to whatever angle you want the antenna. So, if you want the antenna going sideways, kind of under the craft, you can do it like that or you can do it to where it's vertical. Depending on what type of flight you're gonna be taking, you can adjust it every time you go out with just a swivel of this mount. Um, that's really cool. It comes with plenty of hardware to get everything built up. So I'm gonna be doing this build pretty soon and you're gonna be able to check it out. I'm gonna try to use as many of the Airblade store products as I can. Um, so what do you think, guys? If you're looking for something that can do smooth HD footage uh, for a very reasonable price of only $60, a lot of the frames we've been covering are over $100, which, you know, if this is just gonna be your HD cruiser, you're not gonna be smashing it and doing bando bashing with it. This, like all Airblade products, is a cameraman's quad. This is a cinematic flying machine. If you want the versatility of being able to capture beautiful, smooth HD footage, and you know you're not gonna be crashing into brick walls or steel posts or anything like that because you're capturing great footage. If you want a long range quad, if you want something that is gonna allow you more maneuverability than a DJI, but don't necessarily need to be racing it, this is a fantastic option. So stay tuned guys for the build, see which options I go with, um, see how I do the battery strap in the stack, and uh, that'll be coming at you very soon. Thanks guys.